Hi and welcome to another video in the R Hate CSA video series. Today's video is on change passwords and adjust password aging for local user accounts. So as always we'll go straight into the terminal and just elevate the command prompt. And the first one I will cover, which I did cover in the previous video, but I'll just cover it again. So to change your local password. Um, just do PASSWD or password short and put your new password in. Oh, I don't think I typed it right. Yep, so it updates the password as easy as that. Uh, if you want to change the password for another user, and that being if you've got access to change it, then you can just give the username and just give a new password. And I'll update the password for that user. So that's pretty simple. Um, the next thing to cover really is um, password aging or the concept of, you know, um, a password has a certain expiry time. So uh, maybe every 30 days your security policy is to update the password or um, they have a particular password change date um, that you set. In most cases, it's a particular time window, so it's after 30 days, the password has to be changed. But let's, uh, but for for some service accounts, perhaps you may have a particular date, and you can know that the account would expire at this particular date and time. So the first thing we'll do um, is to look at the uh, age of a particular user. So we can just use the ch age minus l for list. And then username. So this user is a brand new user, so we've got the last password change of the exact date. Password currently expires never. It's got an inactive of never, and we've just got never for pretty much everything. So we can actually set the user's password to expire in 30 days if you wanted to. So let's do a change and minus m 30 and then user one. So if we do the same change command, you now see that the password number of days between password expiry, its password change is 30. And if you see the current um, password expiry is actually today, because they've actually never logged in. So we can actually just do a let's do a password change for user one again, and update the password, and we just do a clear and run that command again. Oh, July. Sorry, I'm misreading that. So this is July, actually 30 days. Yeah. Okay, so 30 days of June. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's 30 days of July of 2020. I don't know if it said that before as well. It did. Yeah. Okay. So that's correct. 30 days of July. So, so um, the account expires. Doesn't that expire? So you may want to set account expiry to uh, automatically expire the account after a certain amount of time. Yeah, again, that's uh, you can do that if you wanted to. So we can also set the uh, user's account to expire. Um, so that's again just change minus e, and then uh, the date. So you have to give it in a year, a four-digit year, two-digit month, and two-digit date format, and and then the username. So 2020. Let's do 2021-0101, so the first of the of the new year. And then we just give the username. If we do H H minus L on the user, we can see now the account is actually going to expire on that date. So that means the user actually will not be able to uh, log in uh, on after that date. So it's good to have, certainly if you've got temporary accounts and you want to make sure that they're correctly expiring, then you probably want to set the account expiry on that. So it'll automatically lock the account out. Uh, you can set accounts to never expire, um, pretty similar. So we can do minus E minus one, user one. And then the account will now never expire, as you can see. I think you can do the similar thing with the password as well. So you can set the password to never expire. 
just do a minus m minus one and we can just do l and we can see now the password never expires the account is never inactive and the account will never expire okay so um that's that so what we can do is to um the final thing is if you don't want to remember all the minus e minus d sort of stuff you can actually just use change on its own and then the username so change is one and it will just walk you through every single thing so minimum password age so zero is most likely maximum password age so if you want it to never expire minus one if you want to set at a particular time so we can say i don't know our security policy is 30 days set that uh, last password change we don't need to change that in most cases password expiration warning um, so when we're going to warn the user that the password is going to expire so maybe after 21 days password inactive um, so when your password should start to um, expire or become inactive um, yeah we could just leave that as default I don't think that needs to be expiring um, an account expiration date again we we'll just set it to 2021 let's do 0102 for the sake of this press return and let's do a change minus l so one and you can see yeah, it's now january 2nd on that and all the other values apart from the so now we've got a password expiration again um we've we haven't got password inactive because we didn't do that we've got an account expiry of that date and we've got uh, a password change of 30 days and then a warning on 21 days and onwards. I think that is it. That's all they want us to cover in this particular section. Um, so I I've, I've, think I've covered it completely. Uh, as of course, um, both commands have got um, pretty comprehensive minus H, for example, for help. Uh, you've also got the man pages. Let's do man on change. I think that should be a good man page on this. Yep. It's got a good man page on that. There's an info page as well. So it's it's all pretty much there. It's pretty straightforward, but yeah, it's good to have man pages when you need to. Um, yeah, that's that pretty much covers it. So uh, as always, I've popped my um, Kofi page for any donations. Um, that would be awesome if um, if you could donate. That'd be fantastic. And my uh, T Public for any merchandise if that's something you're interested in and finally the discord server details are on the screen as well here so uh, please join and you can, you're welcome to ask any questions you want um, on the forum it's a lot easier to ask questions there and um, we can also work collaboratively to solve issues um, yeah thanks again for watching I'll catch you next video thanks again bye